It was a really cool learning experience. Actually, one of the best safety precautions you can do if an earthquake were to happen is to drop, cover, and hold on. It's what all of the students at Dondero Elementary practiced this morning so that they would know what to do in case the ground starts shaking. This is an earthquake drill. Drop, cover, and hold on. Stay low, protect your head and neck with your arm. These fifth graders at Dondera Elementary taking part in statewide Great Nevada shakeout drills to learn what to do when an earthquake hits. What does it feel like? Like. <laughs> It's a feeling that's affected all parts of Nevada. Back in 2008, we had a magnitude 6 earthquake. Residents of Wells, Nevada, lived through the largest earthquake the state has ever seen. It caused over $10 million in damage. In May of 2015, a 4.8 magnitude quake shook the Las Vegas area. And most recently, a big scare out of California occurred in September when the USGS issued an alert after monitoring increased seismic activity near the San Andreas Fault. Our primary message today was not not to be scared, to be prepared. What do we do? Is it shaking? Werner Helmer, a Clark County engineer, spoke to students about how fault lines cause quakes and laid out safety tips they should use to protect themselves. What so if we, what if it was what a if real we have one we don't know what to do? Please follow evacuation protocol. And the shakeout simulation doesn't just stop in the classroom. We want to make sure that people have these earthquake kits, water, food, medications. A lesson they hope students will take home to their families so everyone can be prepared. And the shakeout didn't just stop here in Nevada. According to the Great Shakeout's website, nearly 55 million people around the world were registered to participate in this year's drill. I'm Faith Jesse reporting News 3.